Good morning, Lost City Kids. It is week two of our virtual road trip. So today, I wonder where your favorite place is to go on a road trip. Think about if you could go anywhere on a road trip, where would it be? So I mentioned last week that my family loves going on road trips. Every summer we pack up our car and we drive somewhere that has beautiful scenery where we can camp and where we can hike. Our favorite place to go is the mountains. We love climbing and hiking mountains and we love spotting animals out in the wild. But mostly we love those trips because of the time that we get to spend together as a family. When we're back at home, we might not get to see mountains or spot animals, but we still get to look forward to our time together. More than any other day of the week, Sundays are a day when many families have that downtime together. They may even consider Sunday their Sabbath, which is a day set aside for worship and rest. So on today's stop on our virtual road trip, we'll hear more about what that means. So last week, we started our virtual road trip to learn about the Ten Commandments or rules from God. We discussed the first two commandments, which were put God first and make no idols. So today we'll look at commandments number three and four, which we also find in the book of Exodus. So remember, God is talking to Moses here. So let's dig in again to our Bible. We're going to be in Exodus chapter 20, verses 7 through 11. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall do no work, neither you nor your son or daughter, nor your male or female servant, nor your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your towns. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, but he rested on the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. So that third commandment tells us not to misuse God's name. So I think most of us have heard that you shouldn't just throw God's name around mindlessly in a way that's disrespectful, but it's more than that. Another way we can misuse God's name is when we call ourselves followers of God, but then we don't act like it. So maybe refusing to show love for others, even though God is love. We can misuse God's name when we misrepresent what God's name stands for. So the fourth commandment tells us to keep the Sabbath day holy, which means to set aside a day like Sunday for worship and rest. So I wonder, do you like to rest? Maybe it's hard sometimes, especially when there's lots of fun things to do, but it's really important to slow down and spend time with God. So what does that look like? Well, when we take time during our week to slow down, to rest our bodies, to spend time with God, to spend time with people that we love, and to remember who God is and what he's done for us. So both of these commandments help us remember that we can worship God in so many ways by singing, dancing, praying, respecting God, reading the Bible, obeying what God says, and of course, by taking a day to slow down to go to church, to spend time with our community, and to rest. So today's big idea is we obey God by worshiping God. So let's check in with Carl and TJ to learn more about this. Not gonna believe this. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Pro TV. Hi there, you little chicken nuggets, and welcome to Grow TV. Are y'all ready to have your minds blown right now? Do you have any idea what this is? Oh, is it a weird kite or some sort of ancient artifact? <laughs> no. 
What I'm holding right now is what we in the industry like to call a loaf of bread, or bread for short. Now, you might use this for sandwiches, but that's all that bread can be used for, right? Wrong! Get ready, because it's about to get crazy. I'm now going to show you every single use for a piece of bread, and I mean every single use. Let's go! Writing letters. Dear Susan, if you're reading this, <laughs> I miss you. Please come back. I had no idea those were your Pop-Tarts. Sincerely, with love, and grace, and humility. With more love, Carl. <laughs> a mask. A toupee. I have bread for her hair. A deck of cards. Go fish. Hit me. Check. Tape. Kleenexes. <laughs> A phone. Well, you can tell the mayor that I love him. And I think he's a swell guy. A shoulder to cry on. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Brad. A frisbee. Someone to tell you that they're proud of you. I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I mean, Brad. Brad, Dad. <laughs> This is truly incredible. Who knew that bread could be used and done in so many different ways? Oh. Hello? 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 Oh. DJ! I thought you were calling me on my bread phone. Hey, Carl. Wait, what? My bread phone. It's a long story. But man, do you have any idea what this is? Bread? Eh, wrong. It's not just bread. It can be anything you want it to be. Okay. All right, you don't believe me. Here's what we'll do. Name one thing in the world. One, one thing? Like anything? Anything. Um, okay. Um, I guess monster truck? All right, ready for this? At this point, I have no idea, so uh, sure. Sure. Ta-da! I say ta-da! It's still a piece of bread. No way. Watch. Watch out for the Hansel and Gretel. This truck is leaving breadcrumbs in his path in absolute carnage. Watch out. He's leaving his opponents pretty sour. Sourdough, that is. Okay, Carl, I'm going to ask you something. I want you to be completely honest with me, okay? Okay. Um, are you okay? <laughs> TJ, I'm fine. You sure? Yes, really. I'm just excited because today is the day I realized bread can have so many uses. And bread can mean many different things. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I, I guess I can get that. I get that. You know, there's a lot of things like that. What? Like paper towels. Like, some people use them to um, dry their hands, uh, clean up messes, or how you can use milk for cereal. But then again, you could also turn around and use that same milk to feed a baby cow. I can't believe I never thought of that. Or even like worship. What do you mean? There are a lot of different ways to worship God. You lost me. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's talk about the commandments. All right. Which ones? The third and fourth commandment. All right. Number three. You shall not take the name of the Lord in vain. What does that mean? Well, taking a name in vain means to use it without being kind or not having respect for that name in the first place. So misusing God's name is a very bad thing. Good to know. Kids, don't ever use God's name for a bad word. Yeah, but there's more. How so? Have you ever prayed to God for something you wanted? Yes, of course. I talk to God all the time. Even that one time I was stuck in a den of raccoons. <laughs> That's great, man. I love talking to God too. But one thing we have to remember is that God is not our magic genie that grants us every wish we want. Of course not. That's silly. God is way cooler and God gives us way more good things already than three lousy wishes. But sometimes we forget that it's our job to obey God and not the other way around. So when we pray to God and demand things from God, that's one way we can misuse God's name. Whoa, I never thought about that. That's real deep. Okay, so moving on to commandment number four. Remember to keep the Sabbath holy. What does that mean? Well, the Sabbath was a time of rest, a break from work, in order to focus on and to remember all that God has done for us. And holy means to set apart. So that commandment means 
we are to take a day, set it apart from the other days, rest, and focus on God. Oh, kind of like how God created the world in six days, but rested on the seventh day? That's exactly right, man. Wow, I'm learning so much. But what does this have to do with singing in the church? Well, what do you mean? Well, this whole conversation started off by you mentioning worship. Oh, okay, I understand what you're saying. Well, you see, worshiping God is not only singing in church. Say what now? Really, it's more than that. Worship is anything that we do that gives God glory and praise. So like when I pray and spend quiet time with God, that's worship? Sure is. What about when I serve others? Absolutely. Wow, and God loves when we worship, right? Sure thing. And we all have to remember, we obey God by worshiping God. TJ, I can't believe you. What? What, 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 what did I say? <laughs> you just said our big idea. Today's big idea is we obey God by worshiping God. Oh, that's right. So let's say it together on the count of three. Y'all ready? One, two, three. We, we obey, obey God, God by worshiping God. God. Good job, everyone. <laughs> TJ, I gotta say, this whole worship thing has really changed my whole perspective on everything I do. I'm glad, man. But listen, I'm not gonna lie. You had me a little bit worried with the whole bread thing. <laughs> that was <you're> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was crazy. It sure was. I was all like, wait till this guy sees what happens when you put bread in a toaster. <laughs> what? What happens? <laughs> oh, oh, um, nothing. Nothing, buddy. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh... Oh, I gotta see this. See, TJ. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, Carl, where you going, man? You, you're in the middle of the road. Uh... Ah, kids, we'll see you guys next week. Carl! Carl! Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV! Today we've talked about how we obey God by worshiping God. But there isn't just one way to worship God. For our last activity today, we are going to make a list of ways we can worship God and then choose one or two that we can try this week. So there's this printable worksheet that you can find in the video link and print at home or just get a piece of paper and you can make a list on there. So remember that worshiping God can include singing or listening to music, but there are lots of other ways that we can worship God. Maybe writing in a prayer journal or walking in nature or creating art or being generous to someone in need. Work together as a family to fill up your list and think of lots of different ways that you can worship God. And think of this as a part of your map for your daily road trip through life. When you finish making your list, practice the memory verse together. It's Luke 10, 27. And you can find a link in the video description for the American Sign Language that goes along with the verse. Once you've mastered it, send me a video and I'd love to include it one week. So thanks for being here on our virtual road trip to learn more about the Ten Commandments. Let's close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Help us to love and obey you by worshiping you, using your name respectfully, and by taking time to rest from all the busy things that sometimes keep us from remembering your love and promises. Amen. Thanks, friends. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye, everybody.